Let's face it, debugging is not fun. Print this, print that. I'm tired of printing stuff. And by the end of today's episode, you guys are never going to print again. Welcome back guys to the channel. Welcome back guys for another episode of Code with Josh. For obvious reasons, I'm Josh and I'm stoked to have you guys here on the channel. Before I dive into to today's episode, to today's episode, okay. Before I dive into today's episode, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe. That really does help my videos out and it helps my channel reach a wider audience in the crazy YouTube algorithm. So if you enjoy it, hit the like button, right? Today, I'm sharing with you guys how I don't like to use print anymore in my programs. And I'm gonna share with you how you can stop using print today because let's face it, print is time consuming, right? And your terminal is just packed with information and half of it, you don't know what it is because you're printing this and you're printing that. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys the ice cream module. It's the best way to debug and you can use it to replace print. Guys, real quick, the first link in the description is my weekly Python newsletter where I write articles multiple times a week breaking down advanced Python jargon and other stuff surrounding topics that engage my readers, right? So head on down, it's the first link in the description. Come on by and join the Nerd Nook, my weekly Python newsletter. And all the other links I have down there are for you guys. They're dedicated to helping you learn and grow in this space. Wherever you're at, you're a beginner, you got something under your belt, maybe you're a seasoned pro, I got something for you guys. So head on down, check those out. Okay, now into the reason you're all here. Josh, I don't like print, it stinks. I don't wanna use it anymore. Let's dive into how you can stop using print right now. Welcome back guys. I've made some examples for you guys that we're gonna go through really quickly and I'm gonna teach you guys how you can stop using print today and why you're never gonna to wanna to use print again. It's redundant, it's boring. It doesn't give you the information you want. Right, so I've put together a function, calculate discount, it takes a price, discount rate, and it does all the discount stuff. And you can see here, I have all these variables, discount, final price, price, discount rate, right? And before I return, it's common that we use print to debug. Print is just for us as developers. It's for us to see what's going on in our program. And more often than not, many of us still just use print to debug. But it's not great, right? Because when I run this, let's watch what happens. You can expect what you're going to see in the output of this. Boom, there we go, right? Everything is working, right? But in the grand scheme of things, if this was a huge program and I have print everywhere in my program, I don't know what is what, right? I would have to go in here and I would have to like type price, right? And I would have to go through each of these and label them out. That's so redundant. Now with the module today, ice cream, it takes all this away because ice cream allows for automatic variable labeling and it's gonna increase the readability of your programs too. At the top, all you gotta do in all your programs is say from ice cream, I wanna import IC. Once again, that's just ice cream. Now anywhere you have print is just replaced with IC. This is the new way to print. Okay, let's run our code and compare the differences here. Boom, look at that. Right, here's the original form, but now you can see it has the variable as well as the value. In the color coordination, you can very easily see what is the value to what variable, right? This just speeds up your workflow so much. And stick around to the end because I'm going to teach you guys how you can actually turn this off because you can't turn print off when you're done with it. It's always going to be there. With ice cream, you can. Now, let me show you an example of a nested data structure. I'm going to turn off this function call and uh, let's just create here like nested data. Okay, so I'll create a dictionary. I will just do uh, Josh. Okay, and the value, let's just do another dictionary. Let's just do something like, uh, I don't know, countries. That's cool. And let's say the value is a list. Let's just put some countries in here. Thailand, uh, Vietnam, France. Okay, so I have this data structure. And I mean, to be more elaborate here, I could even just come off here. Let's just say uh, Bob. 
and uh, the value of Bob, we can say countries again. Uh, but this time for Bob, let's just give him like one country. Let's just say uh, Canada. Okay. Now, when I print this, I'm not going to be printing. I'm going to be mixing up some ice cream. I'm just going to drop in my nested data. Let's run this. And once again, it's increasing this readability. It allows for less boilerplate in your code. Now you can see everything is indented perfectly, right? Each new row of data is automatically put on its own line. Print isn't going to do that for you. And we can very easily see what's the name of the nested data in this case. It is just nested data. And then we have our keys and the values within that, right? We're just speeding up the debugging process. That's where ice cream is really mixing everything together. It's pretty cool, right? Um, I hope you can see how I've cut back on using print a lot and I'm hoping you guys can just use this right from the get-go. Just think of this as print. Anywhere you have print, replace it with ice cream. Okay, let me show you guys one final example here. I'm gonna clear everything for this actually, and I'm gonna drop in my code. All right, so here's just a validation function. So um, I made this function here, and it's just telling me is data missing. It's checking for the missing values in this, All right? It's expecting this dictionary, and then we're just checking here, right, to make sure that everything is valid. Um, if I have an age, it's got to be greater than zero, okay? My name can't be missing. If I do, I'm going to get all these alerts here, okay? Um, I'm going to run this, and you can see I have Theodore the third, super classy guy, negative 55 for age. So this is going to throw us a validation error. Boom, there you go, okay? Invalid age, negative 55, okay? Let's use ice cream to debug this. Now, one new thing here is I could put ice cream at the top of your code, right? So you could just put it here, all right? But the other thing we could do is anywhere you need ice cream, you can actually just put it at the top of your function. So from ice cream, I'm gonna import IC, okay? And then anywhere we have print, I'm going to go through and I'm just going to replace print here with uh, IC. Okay. Um, I'm going to run this. Boom. There we go. So now we can see, right, it has our variables and it has the value to those variables, right? And I'm still getting the same results in debugging, but this time it's much more readable. It's easier to see what's happening and where. Now, after you're debugging, right, print can never be turned off. Print is always going to print unless you specifically switch it off, okay? The great thing about ice cream, actually, is when you're done with it at the top, you don't have to remove it. I can just say, I see disable. Now my function does its job. It's going to return the values, but because we're done with that whole debugging process, it's not actually going to print off anything. Look, it's just running as it normally would because I actually disabled that function. If I need to come back and debug again, I would probably just make a comment to turn that off. When we rerun your code, you're going to see that there we are. Ice cream's working again. Okay, so using ice cream is going to speed everything up for you guys. It has your variable labeling, increases your readability, and it really allows for less boilerplate and more flexible debugging. Right. So stop using print. Get using ice cream. Well, there you guys have it. I wish I had some ice cream right now besides just this code, because who doesn't love a bowl of ice cream? My favorite's coffee. But anyways, I hope you guys got value in today's video. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe. That really does help out my channel. OK, and I hope you can see how ice cream is the best debugging tool. Right. It's it's super simple. Right. It's nothing crazy. It's literally just print. But the fact that it links together with variable labeling so you can really see everything that's happening. And the best part, the caveat, is that the right word, is you can disable it when you're done. So it's not constantly polluting your terminal with all these things. So stop using print today. Start using ice cream. I'm about to go have a bowl for you guys. Drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this shorter video today. And thank you guys for being here. All right. Have an awesome week wherever you are in the world. Until next week's episode on Code with Josh, I will see you then.